Dollars Pie Guy here. I'm going to show you how to download the uh, Chirp software and uh, program like a Bofang uh, UVR or whatever you may be using that uh, Chirp supports. So if you go to the following website here, and I'll throw a link in the description, uh, you can see what uh, current radios are being supported for the uh, chirp software so and they add more and more each week possibly each month uh, so I do see uh, more radios that wasn't on here that are on here now uh, but anyway we're going to go up here and just click get it and then I just went ahead and downloaded right here the uh, the Windows version and just clicked on the recommended way uh, if you're using Mac or Linux but we're just going to focus on a window install so we're just going to go ahead and click on this guy <clears throat> and let it come up hopefully it'll come up on this screen alright so we have it up here so we'll just click next install and we'll just go ahead and install this which I already have I think a very old uh, version on here I believe but we're going to get the most up to date one here finish <clears throat> then we can just go down here and search for it and I already have uh, my USB cable plugged in. Now, I don't have it plugged into my radio, but we're going to go ahead and do that. So, we have it plugged in. We'll go ahead and turn the guy on. <clears throat> so, we're going to go to download from radio. And we should be on three, your number may be one, two, three, four, whatever it may be. We are using that, and the model is a UV82 L, but I think the 82 will work because I don't believe it's definitely not that, so we'll just use the generic one. Now you pick whatever uh, model you may have, <clears throat> and right now it's cloning it. So we're going to go ahead and remove what frequencies that are on here. All right. So now that we have our frequencies empty, we can go under our settings if you feel like, and you can change some settings here. So you don't have to worry about trying to go through the menu to do it. Uh, so you can just play around with this if you want. You could change the uh, power on message to whatever you feel like. <clears throat> so you can expand the uh, frequency if you want. Here's some more options and stuff. You can set your local FM station if you feel like the default. So anyway, we're going to go back to uh, memories here. Now we're going to go ahead and click radio, import from data source. And we can click on one of these then you could just click whatever state you want so we'll just say for example we'll click Nevada <clears throat> and we just want this county now we can install all which makes no sense because we only have a uh, 2 meter and 70 centimeter radio but we only want the 2 meter we'll click OK and as you can see, we have only two frequencies in that county. So we can just click OK. Now we have this guy here. 
and it's showing zero. So we're going to go over here, and as you can see, if you click on special channels, you'll see these two here that come from the uh, factory this way. So we're going to delete these. And we're going to move it up. And we can delete, move it up. So now, we go back to our memories. Alright, so we're back here. So we're going to, have to do this again since I deleted them other ones. So no big deal. We can just click OK and uh, <clears throat> we'll just hit the minus one because it started out with one. So we're going to start with zero then go to channel one. So now we'll be OK because technically this is one, two, but it starts with zero goes to 127, but there's actually 128 spots. So anyway, so we have our two here. So if we want to add more, we could just go back under here, or you could do it this way. You put in, you know, whatever uh, city or whatnot you may be in. But we'll just go back up here. If I click on the right thing. And say so now we want 70 centimeters so we can click on that click OK so now we have four frequencies so what we're going to do is we are going to move that so we want to then slot two through five so now that we're on two through five we can click OK and there we go so, so if you want it on, say, low power, we can uh, right-click properties. And you can change some things in here if you want. Edit the name and whatnot. But what we can do is we could just highlight these. Right-click properties. And we can click on power. Say we just want all these on low power. And there you go. It puts them all on low power so you don't have to go through and uh, change each one one at a time. So, in the same way, if you know if something is wrong and it's narrow band or just FM, you can do the same thing. Highlight. And if we can find it mode and go from there and do the same thing <clears throat> so hopefully that kind of helps out with that so now what we want to do is we want to upload this to the radio so we'll go to radio upload and we're already plugged in radios on we'll click ok ok and there it goes now we're uploading to the radio so it's uh, pretty simple, not too difficult. And once this is done, it uh, should probably restart your radio. Some of them might restart, all of them probably will. So mine just restarted, it's showing the new frequency now. And now we're ready to go. So hopefully this kind of helps out. Uh, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for another one. Don't forget to hit the like, share, and subscribe.